Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be talking about how to use the watch connectivity framework to share data between watch OS 2 and iOS applications. Um, if you remember in uh, my previous tutorial, tutorial number two, um, I did a similar thing but um, it's not going to work in watch OS 2 applications because um, now uh, everything runs natively on the Apple Watch. So here's an example or a diagram which Apple actually made explaining the differences between watchOS 1 and watchOS 2. As you can see, um, all of the logic on watchOS 1 applications ran on the iPhone and the Apple Watch would display the user interface. But in watchOS 2, um, the actual application runs on the Apple Watch and the Apple Watch also displays the user interface and if necessary, if we want to offload some heavy logic to the iPhone, we can do that too using um, the watch connectivity framework. So let's get started. Um, as you can see, uh, I'll be using the um, normal Xcode application. I don't need to use a beta because in Xcode 7, it contains all the tools that you need to develop watchOS 2 applications and you can get this Xcode from the App Store and you can either update it or download it. So let's get started. And I'm going to create a new Xcode project, single view application. I'm going to call this Watch Connectivity Tutorial. And um, the language is going to be in Swift. Uh, the reason I'm using Swift is because Apple announced um, Swift 2 in their developers conference. So that's, I want to show it to you guys. Um, for people who want to see the tutorial in Objective-C, I'm going to rewrite the entire code for the tutorial in Objective-C and upload it to my GitHub and provide you a link in the description. So look out for that. Um, Let's select iPhone for our device and um, uh, make sure to have these three checkboxes unchecked. Let's hit next and I'm going to save it. My folder. Create. Cool. So as, um, as you saw, um, I started out creating just an iOS application. We're going to add the watchOS application in a little bit. So what we want to do is I'm just going to demonstrate us pressing one button on the iPhone's view controller and that is going to send a small uh, dictionary or NS dictionary to the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch is going to parse it and display it on the Apple Watch's screen and then a similar thing is going to happen on the Apple Watch in which we're going to have a button when we press the button. Um, it sends uh, some data to the iPhone, the iPhone parses it and displays it on the screen. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is create a button on the iPhone screen and let's also create a label. And for simplicity's sake, let me just let me just uh, change the size of the view controller to 4.7 inches so we can have our label and our button in the middle. Let's just make this a little bigger and center it. Awesome. Now if we open up the assistant editor uh, we can see both our view controller and our code. Um, I'm just going to control click from the label, drag it over to my view controller, and I'm going to call this label, um, I'll call this label message label. Enter, and for a button, we'll drag it over to our view controller, and um, we don't want an outlet connection, we want to make an action and I can call this action send message to watch. Hit enter. Cool. And 
let's go back to our view controller and let's close up this assistant editor. So um, we're going to be using a framework called the watch connectivity framework and that has a few um, that has a class that we need to implement as as well as a delegate. So the first thing we'll do is we will import that framework. So you can just type in import watch connectivity and it should pop up automatically. And we also want to use its delegate. So just type in an XT UI view controller, type in watch uh, WC session delegate. And awesome. So in our view did load, um, we want to check if um, we want to check if uh, the watch kit our watch connectivity session is actually supported on the device before we actually start doing anything. So up here we'll have variable var session and of type watch uh, watch connectivity session and in our view to load we want to check if the session is supported so if wc if wc session dot is supported we can initialize so self dot session is equal to watch kits or watch connectivity session dot default session and self dot session dot delegate so we want to use the delegate methods and we'll assign that to our view controller and self dot session dot activate session because we want to start our session right after our view uh, loads and of course um, we want to implement the delegate method that receives messages from the watch right so what we'll do is we'll just type in function and then session and we can see all of the delegate methods that we can use and in this case we want to use did receive message and this did receive message will be um, triggered whenever we, whenever we receive a message from the watch. So what I want to do is I want to display that message from the watch on the label that we created in our view controller. So if we go back over here, you can type in self dot message label dot text is equal to message and for now just leave that um, empty as cast it string in here um, the key for our message I'm just gonna set this uh, the key as B ah. so the method that we want to use to send data to the watch is session dot send message and just be careful don't use message data because we want to just send a string and our string will have the key of a and the value of hello and the reply handler will be nil and the error handler will also be nil but as a good practice you should implement both of these so let me just write a small comment. This over here, this method over here is what we use to send messages to the watch. So send message to watch. And this method over here, this delegate method over here is what we use um, to handle messages from the watch. So receive messages from watch. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much it on the iPhone side. Now we want to do a similar thing on the watch OS side. So if we go to file, new, target, 
um, we can see two sections over here iOS and watchOS since we're going to be um, using watchOS 2 we want to select um, um, watch kit app from the watchOS section this over here is um, for watchOS 1 and that's not what we want so let's select watch kit app let's hit next and I'll just call this watch app um, uncheck notification scene and leave the language as Swift awesome so our watch folders have popped up and we want to do a, a similar thing as what we did on the iPhone so we'll put in one button and we'll put in one label there we go let's make the label a little larger and put it in the middle and let's open up our assistant editor and we will drag the label control click the label and oh, what's up with this automatic control click the label and drag it over to our interface controller and I'll just call this message label and for the button we want to insert an action and the action is a send message to watch cool and similarly on how on the iPhone side we used the watch connectivity framework we have to do the same thing on the Apple watch so let's go back to our interface controller and import watch connectivity and we want to use its delegate methods watch kit session delegate there we go awesome and pretty much identical to how we did it on the iPhone let's create a variable with our session and I'll type watch kit session force cast it and in our will activate um, we want to check if it's supported so if watch kit session dot is supported we will initialize self dot session is equal to watch kit session dot default session and self dot delegate self dot session dot delegate is equal to self we want to assign it to our interface controller and we want to activate the session so self dot session dot activate session awesome so now that that's done we want to also implement our delegate method to handle um, messages and data from the iPhone so again let's type in function session and we can see all the methods that we can use and in this case I will be using did receive message and what we want to do is we want to change our message label to the actual text that we receive from the watch so self dot message label dot set text and the text will be message a as string to test there we go and the reason I have a over here is because back in our iPhone the value that or the key that we used to send the message was a so over here when we parse we want to look for a when we receive the message so this is for receiving message from iPhone and now we want to also create an action to 
send the messages. So I'm going to check again if the WatchKit session is supported. And the method we'll be using is session.sendMessage. Again, the same method. And this, this method, um, our key will be B and the value will be goodbye. And we'll have the reply handler as nil, and the error handler as nil. Cool. Well, let's see if this works. So up here, what we'll first do is we will start our iPhone 6 simulator. And this could take a second or two. Okay, there's our label and button. And let's also start the Apple Watch. Okay, that shouldn't have crashed. If it crashes, just stop it and restart. There we go. And if we set, press the button to send the message, um, we see hello over here. And when we press it back, this should change to buy. Um, in the simulator, I have been experiencing a little bit of a lag, but um, it does eventually go through. So what I did was, when you press this button, um, it sends a message to the watch, and when we press this button, it sends a message to the iPhone. And uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can feel free to explore, maybe use some more of the methods that they provide um, with the watch connectivity classes. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or even suggestions, just leave it in the comment section below. Um, I try and answer every question that's in the comments. Um, I will be putting a link for the Objective-C code also in the description, so look out for that. Uh, and yeah, good luck. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.